Okay. Here I am at the Windows 7 login screen. It wants me to enter a new password, so I need to type in my old one, my new one, and retype in my new one. Now I am going to create, I'm going to push the right arrow here. The specified procedure could not be found. What's more, if I go here to say create a password reset disk, that's fine, blah blah blah, right here. Floppy disk drive A. First of all, who uses floppy drives anymore? Second of all, where the heck am I supposed to find a floppy image? Again, I am running a virtual machine, and for those of you who do not know, I am running the publicly available um, beta, or what was publicly available at the time, that Microsoft gave away, the beta of Windows 7. This is beta number one for the public. It's three hours. Of Windows, of, uh, Windows 7, excuse me, not Vista. Windows 7. But as you can see here, the procedure could not be found, and the only way to make a floppy and to make a backup disk is with a three and a half floppy. Something is very wrong here, and I was wondering if anybody could tell me what the heck it is. This will expire on August the 1st anyway, so if I don't get it resolved by then, you know, I'll just have to remove it anyway. I'm kind of hoping that I that I have to remove it because this is taking up 20 gigs. And some of you will say, well, wait a moment, hang on. You're having this trouble. Why the heck are you having this? Why the heck are you even bothering to run it? Well, this has to do with the fact that um, the type of technology that I use, um, the bulk of it is on Windows. There's really no way around it. Uh, Windows has been a very stable accessibility platform thanks to very talented third-party developers for the past 20 years. Um, and the Mac is very young. It's certainly taken a lot of... Um, it's certainly making a lot of heads turn. But the industry as a whole is not necessarily seeing the Mac as a platform just yet. It's going to take time to get some cross-platform software that meets our needs um, in the sense that... Um, for example, one of the book players um, has a piece of software that's Windows only. And my own book player, the Plex Talk Pocket, you can mount it as a, as, a hard, as a flash drive on the Mac, but you have some issues with it remounting. On Windows, it's basically built for Windows. The, the book player actually runs Windows, if you can believe that. It runs a Windows CE 5. The, the Windows CE 5.0 core. Um, so that's basically why I need to stick up with Windows, is because um, Windows is not going anywhere. And as far as accessibility is concerned, um, you know, I don't see that changing all that much. Um, but yeah, I really don't know what to do. Um, so, uh, help. Thank you for watching. Comments are welcome and have a nice day.